Hey friends, it's Angie, your independent Sensi consultant, and I'm here with you with my giant basket of stuff. Let me show you just what's going on here. So can you see that this basket, first of all, it's full, right? That's very obvious. But I've got another, like, I don't know, eight bars and another thing over here that aren't in the basket because I couldn't get them in. That's how much stuff I've got to go over with you guys today. And this bucket, it smells pretty amazing. So um, <laughs> it's got stuff from December. No, no, it's February. Did you guys know that it's February? It's got stuff from January in it. And the first few days of February, every time, guys, every time. Um, okay, so let's hop into it uh, before my friend comes over and I have to go eat dinner and all of that. So, drinking red as usual. Out of my fun rainbow heart glass that my uh, lovely sister-in-law got me for Christmas. All right, so let's start with the cotton cleanups. So these guys are awesome. This is the little topper off the bag looks like this they're 25 in a bag um, they look like this when they're clean and they have the little um, little handle and let me show you what they look like when they've got wax on them so when you dip them in the warmer it soaks up the wax you use it when the wax is wet and they were six dollars for a box of 25 and they're going up to ten dollars so I opened two packages one of them though is right here and you can see that most of them are still in the package um but i need to i'm gonna need to ration them because they're going up from six dollars to ten dollars and i don't know why but that seems like a whole lot more but that's in there okay i opened a pack of dryer discs in ocean of course this scent is not available in laundry anymore um, but I love it in laundry. We washed our blankets that live on our couch in ocean and they were so good um, This came in a whiff box. It is a 3d scent circle So if you've seen a scent circle, you know, they're flat This one is kind of like a puzzle and you put it together and it makes this like shape and I hung it on my Christmas tree This one is in mighty pine It still smells a little bit, but you can't smell it from a distance and probably part of the reason it smell I'm smelling that is because this is nearby this fragrance flower is in very snowy spruce. All of the oil has dried up. This bottle is completely dry. This is completely dry, but the oil actually absorbs into the flower. So the flower is still oily and, um, and it still smells good. But, and I actually think they're beautiful. So I actually save them. Um, and I have like a little, like a cake stand and I put the used up flowers. Like I take the flower out and it's on the cake stand. And it's like lets off a little bit of fragrance, but not much. And this one, as you can see, I colored the edges of the flower petals green with a Sharpie. So that's why they look like that. Oh, and I dropped it on the floor. That's what I do. Okay, I'm gonna stop messing with that because that's not working for me. Um, I got through a counter clean in grapefruit, and evergreen and grapefruit. This one is so fantastic. Um, I love counter clean. If I get a stain on my shirt, I spray my shirt stains with counter clean. I spray stains on my couch with counter clean. I spray my carpets with counter clean. I spray everything gross and sticky and irritating with counter clean. So I 10 out of 10 recommend counter clean. Um, pink cotton hand soap. As you guys probably are well aware, the spring and summer catalog launched the other day and the new hand soaps are much bigger and the price point increased to go along with the size increase. So that has changed, but that is the old school variety. I have through a dish soap or two in red pear and pomegranate. Now you might think, how do you get through two dish soaps since the last time you recorded a what I've been warming video? The answer is I have not. I pour them into the foaming hand soap containers around my house, as well as in a um, pump system next to my sink. So. These are being used at my sink. They are not, uh, they're, I didn't use up two 16 ounce bottles of dish soap in a week and a half, two weeks or whatever this mess is. Um, I did finish up an oil, which I'm always really excited about. This is Graham Cracker Crumble. This was a um, in the holiday collection, I think two years ago. 
I really, really liked this one, and I liked using it in my kitchen when I had other bakery scents going that were similar to that. And I think, oh, wait, there's one more non-wax item, and that is I currently am using a prickly pear and agave Scentsy Soak. Hi, Jenny O. Um, so, prickly pear and agave, Scentsy says the scent notes are prickly pear, agave, and sheer petals. Funny story, my wife really likes this scent. So I have like the fragrance mist, and I have obviously this. I've used the body creams before um, because she really likes it. And so I just recently obviously changed it out in the little container that I hold my Scentsy Soak in in the bathroom because I don't like these resealable bags and I don't like having bags of soak laying around my bathroom. So in my bathroom there's like a plastic canister full of Scentsy Soak. And the last one I used was Bright Cider Life and it was brown and then this one is green. And so Christy was in there giving Rowan a bath the other day and she said, mmm, whatever that green stuff is, I really like it. And I was like, you're never going to guess what scent it is. And she said, is it prickly pear and agave? I said, yes. So she didn't know what it was. She smelled it because Rowan is obsessed with the Scentsy Soap container. And she goes in there and she scoops it into the bathtub, spills it everywhere. There's always like little Scentsy Soap crumbles all over the floor. Um, luckily, if you're going to make a mess with something, it's great if it's something that smells good, right? So there's always little spillages in our bathroom of Scentsy Soap. But... Um, this time it was prickly pear and agave and it smells delightful. Okay, so let's go through what I've been warming. This one is a new release. It's called Pink Rhubarb Sugar. I like it. Pink rhubarb sweetened with sparkling raspberry and an extra scoop of sugar. I warmed this in my family room, which is kind of a larger space. It was about a medium in my space. Um, when I sniff this clamshell, I smell lemons. It smells lemony good in here, um, but it does not smell like lemon when it's warming. It was really, really delicious. It smells very sweet, very, um, if you like scents like uh, Rock and Ruby Raz, which is another really sweet, like fruit punchy scent, you might like pink rhubarb sugar. It is not like a uh, pink sugarberry mint to me at all. It is definitely different and it is, again, a medium. Okay, so this one, Graham Cracker Crunch, I warmed it in my kitchen. This one is caramelized Graham Cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean. Mm, okay, so this one is really yummy. If you like bakery scents at all, you're going to really love, love, love. Oh, you want to check out the teal one? I did warm that one as well. Sh uh, Shoreline Drive. Oh, white amber and teak. Yeah, that one's good. I haven't warmed that yet. Um, graham cracker crunch. It's bakery. It smells like a peanut butter covered graham cracker. It's very, very, very good. Um, I warmed that in my kitchen. Shoreline Drive. This one's very strong. I warmed this in my family room. Take the scenic route with dewy greens and passion flower as Seamus guides the way. This is a new release. It's delightful. Um, Shoreline Drive, if you like Atlantic Air, and if you like, um, oh, what's it called? The blue one. Oh, gosh. I don't remember the name of it. It'll come to me later, I promise. Okay. So I warmed that in my family room. Clementine Cupcake. I warmed this in my kitchen. I don't really like it on, on cold, but I actually really did like it warming. A warm vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. It's actually really good when it's warming. I don't know if it... I don't know if it's like the flavors meld together or if some of that like cupcake note warms off, but I actually really, really did love it. Okay, so this one was in the um, Bring Back My Bar, but the uh, Scentsy Club exclusive, Simply Rose. It's oh, so strong. So it's just an, a pink rose scent, right? So I the other day was like, I'm going to just use this bar. I'm never going to sell it. Nobody's ever going to want it. I can taste it. It tastes like perfume. I put this whole bar, the eight cubes, I put three cubes in my bathroom and then the other five cubes in my bedroom. And you can see that it, it, I wrote the notes down, but it smeared it. Guys, that whole side of the house, it smelled so strong and it made me tear up. It was so strong. It was like, you just had like one Miss USA and they sent you all the roses that exist in the planet and they filled your bedroom to the brim with all the roses. So many roses. 
So, um, yeah, so that happened. Mm -hmm. Simply Rose. It's strong. It's long lasting. It's, uh, it's romantic. It was a Scentsy Club exclusive for the Bring Back My Bars. No longer available. Um, I did warm a bar of vanilla suede. I don't have this anymore. This was in a Bring Back My Bar. It's not in my club. I did it in my bedroom. Classic, comforting vanilla combined with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice. A cozy and subtly masculine fragrance. <laughs> you won the Kentucky Derby. Hilarious. Yes, exactly. It's just every rose ever that has ever existed is now shoved up your nostrils. Just all of them. Um, so vanilla suede, it does have that like leathery. It's masculine, but it has that vanilla to calm it down. And it's really good. Um, I don't need it in my club. I don't need to have that. I don't need leathery scents in my life really. Um, but I like it. And so I warmed that again in my bedroom. And it's good. Um, this one, Apple Teeny Splash. This is a new release. Apple Teeny Splash. Also very sweet. So if you like sweet scents, like Rock and Ruby Raz, you probably will like Pink Rhubarb Sugar and Apple Teeny Splash. This was kind of like our least favorite of the, the new ones on Cold Sniff. Probably the pear. So this is Green Apple and Nashi Pear stirred with a big splash of simple syrup. I warmed this in our entranceway. Um... It does have that Nashi pear. It's similar to me to Jumpin' Jelly Beans. Jumpin' Jelly Bean is sugary sweet Nashi pear. This has that same kind of Nashi pear vibe, but they add that green apple in. And it's, you know, sugary sweet because it's got the simple syrup. So if you like Jumpin' Jelly Beans, you'll like Apple Teeny Splash. World Traveler, this is also one of the um, Scentsy Club exclusives. Blackberry, dark pomegranate, and oak bark inspire adventure. World traveler. Um, I don't remember which part of the house I warmed this in, but I think it was my entranceway, and I think I really liked it. Um, got through a bar of sweet plum pastry. Mm, I do love this one. Black plum and toasted coconut garnish and marshmallow cloud. I warmed this in my kitchen. Uh, I try to get through those because it's been in my Scentsy Club for a while. So it's um, it's definitely something that uh, has been in my Scentsy Club and I've collected, you know, a bunch of them. So I definitely try to try to get through the stash because it, it is. I need to de-stash this stuff. Okay. I got through two bars of Marshmallow Mint. This I warmed in my basement. It smelled amazing. Buttermint and marshmallow make merry beneath an amber veil. This is another one that's been in my club for a while. I only really warm it in the winter time. I like it, but I don't love it. I think it's going right now, but I, I can't smell it. It's been probably about a week since I put it in, so it's about done. Um, but marshmallow mint, it's it's really good. It just doesn't last that long, but it's so good when it's warming. And I think I need two of these. I need samples. There it is. Two bars of sunburst bamboo. I'm going to use for samples. Lush sunburst bamboo and crisp cucumber. Under a sheer canopy of peony offer a tranquil escape. It is so good. I love that it's cucumber and flowers. I love that it's got, I don't know what bamboo smells like, but it's got all the things that I like. Sorry if my phone is like vibrating on you guys. Turn that off. Okay. Um, it's so good. Sunburst bamboo. That is the scent of the month for February. I can't tell you how long lasting it is or anything like that because I didn't warm it. I just made samples out of it, but it does smell really good when it's warming. Um, this one I warmed in the family room. This is cashmere pear. Cashmere pear also was in my Scentsy Club for a while and now it is not. I warmed it in my family room. The scent notes are slim and slip into sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger. A blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. Love it. All right, this one, dancing sugar plums, rich spiced plum, falls right in step with visions of vanilla and sweet cinnamon apple. Mm. 
That's a good one. Dancing Sugar Plums is good. I feel like it's underrated. I don't hear enough people talking about how much they love Dancing Sugar Plums, but they really should. It's really good. Uh, my Home, I think it was, used to be Home Sweet Home. This one is a new name for our favorite spicy cinnamon and floral scent, a must try. I don't remember where in my house I warmed this one. Um, and I don't remember it. It's not memorable. I, I didn't love it. I feel bad, but I didn't add it to my club either. So that's good news. Um, mulberry bush. This is in my club. It's Sarah's favorites. I have a bunch, a bunch of mulberry bush, sweet mulberry accented with bittersweet orange peels. Did I get the two of these? I'm going to get them two. Um, here's the deal about mulberry bush. You know, they talk about scent memories and how scents bring back memories for you. This one brings back a huge scent memory for me. Um, mulberry bush was Sarah's favorite scent. Her bedroom smells, smelled like this. Um, so it reminds me of her. And so when warming it, it brings back a lot of feelings for me. Um, so yeah, mulberry bush. Hendrix, this is in our club now, thanks to Scentsy Club. I warm this in the bedroom. Rock and roll with an electrifying blend of earthy patchouli, glowing sandalwood, and bold pink pepper. Harmonize with tobacco flower. It can be a little off-putting when you say tobacco flower because you think tobacco, cigarettes. Well, nobody wants their house to smell like cigarettes, and nobody wants to put it all over. And, and I use the whole bar, so it's strong. If it's going to smell like cigarettes, it's going to smell strong. And it doesn't smell like that. It smells like pipe tobacco kind of but it's not like the first note it's not it's got a lot of sandalwood it's got a lot of patchouli it's got that pepper um it's good it's really really good i really like it um it's mellow and calming and it's nice for the bedroom and i just really liked i really liked that pineapple mango this is a new release scent a bright blend of sweet pineapple and juicy mango softened by passion flower Again, this is brand new and it is delicious it smells so good I don't remember where I warmed it in my house but it was great toffee butter crunch this was a Scentsy Club exclusive um, I warmed it in my kitchen here is what pineapple mango is good Jenny oh here's what Scentsy says salted caramel glaze candied walnuts toffee and vanilla bean all the ingredients for a delectable sensory confection are here in one sweet intoxicating fragrance you'll savor all season long okay so toffee butter crunch smells like something that i want to eat very badly i'd like to eat that please thank you I'm trying to find a specific one okay strawberry swirl she's in my club she came back and bring back my bar like last year she's great here's what sensi says about Strawberry swirl, blissfully sweet and creamy. Strawberry swirl whips together frozen strawberry, frothy milk, and vanilla. And that's true. It smells like, actually, not milk. It smells like yogurt. It smells like strawberry yogurt smoothie. So yum, so good. Here's another new release, Summer Moonlight. Fresh strawberries sparkle among, alongside sweet pea and shimmering sandalwood. This I put in my bedroom. This is a bedroom scent to me. This is warm and inviting and kind of sensual. And um, and I liked it. And I wanted this to be a bedroom scent. And it did not disappoint. Pink Haze. I actually used two different versions of Pink Haze. This is a... Uh, it's funny. Here's an old Bring Back My Bar version. And here's the new Bring Back My Bar version. Here's what Scentsy says. A sweet confection of berries, nectarines, and vanilla-laced whipped cream nestled in marshmallow fondant. I love it. I love, I love, I love Pink Haze. You can't go wrong with Pink Haze. Um, it is now in my club. It will not leave my club. I will always have Pink Haze. Pink Sugarberry Mint. Plump Raspberry is delightfully dusted with sugar. And the sweetest hint of peppermint. This was a March uh, scent of the month from last year. And uh, I put immediately put it in my Scentsy Club. I did not want to live without uh, pink sugarberry mint. I warmed through all of the bars that came in my uh, Scentsy Club subscription. And definitely, definitely love everything about them. 
This is from the Mix It collection, which are scents that were designed to be mixed together. This is the uh, fruity one, and it's grapefruit orange. This was in my club for a long time. Um, I did take it out because I don't go through them fast enough. To I was just acquiring more than I could use, and I just wanted to make sure that I could get through them all. Because here's the issue, is that you get all these bars, you start to accumulate them, and then... You know, you can only warm so much, and I warm a lot, so, you know, it's not that I'm not warming enough, it's that you literally, because there's new releases and there's new stuff coming out and new collections and stuff, you can't warm through them fast enough to keep up with the amount coming in. So I have to, I have to warm a good bit. Okay, I'm down to the last six bars. Um, so I did get through a bar of Blue Grotto. This is currently available. It's kind of always available. It reminds me of that Capri Blue Volcano Candle. It says, run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus, and lush botanicals. It is delightful. I love it. I will always love Blue Grotto. Um, it doesn't last a super long time, but it's really delightful while it's going. And I did it in the front entranceway of my house. Blue Agave and Melon. It's from the Summer Collection last year. I'm curious to see what comes out in the Summer Collection this year. It says, a sweet desert oasis. Oas I can't talk today. I can't say words like oasis. Lush with blue agave, honeydew melon, and kiwi. Blue agave and melon. I like the melon notes in here. I don't always love melon notes, but that is melon notes done right. This was Southern Evening. I warmed it in my entranceway. One of the things I love the most about Southern Evening is the description. So let me describe it to you. Like a trace of perfume lingering in her wake. This romantic twirl of French lavender, geranium, subtle fruits, and white musk will prove an enchanting escape. Okay, now really, do scent descriptions get any better than that? It tells you that it's a floral. It is a perfumey floral. It's not powdery. It's perfumey, and it's wonderful. And if you like Southern, if you like florals at all, you might like Southern Evening. And if you like fancy flowery descriptions, you might like Southern Evening. Blue Sage and Tonka. This was new to the catalog last season. It was for fall and winter. Um, it was like kind of a masculine fresh scent. It says, revel in the richness of midnight sage and black lavender over the sultry sweetness of Tonka bean. I warm this in the entranceway of my house, mostly because Christy, my wife, works um, kind of adjacent to that or as part I don't know how to describe that part of the house, but like the warmer on her desk featured this scent. And so I try when I'm choosing scents for different areas, I try to think about that and I'm like, what would she like to sniff while she's working? And this one was one that I was like, this is one that she might like to smell while she's working. So that's why it went there. This one is Aussie Plum. I believe this is in my club. I hope I put this in my club. I've done a bunch of club edits at the end of last month as the catalog was switching over. No idea what I've done to my club. I started out wanting to add everything and then I was like, I gotta make some cuts. I've gotta make this reasonable. It's still not reasonable. It's not reasonable to spend that much on Scentsy Club, but it is what it is. Um, our house smells great, so there's that. So Aussie Plum was a Scentsy Club exclusive. Bring back my bar for January. And it says a melange of juicy plum, pink grapefruit, and tart pomegranate with smooth vanilla. I like it. I like plum scents. I like grapefruit scents. I feel like the grapefruit outshines the plum in this, and I love it. Oats and honey. I was hoping that this was going to smell like apple and oats. It does not. It does not smell like the ap the oats part of apple and oats either. Maybe, maybe it does, actually. I want apple and oats back, y'all. I want apples and oats. A buttery mix of toasted oats and Tupelo honey, oven crisped with vanilla maple. That is this. Um, so that is what I've been warming and it's a lot. It's a whole lot. And, uh, I'm about to change my wax down here and put in two whole new bars of wax in the basement because why wouldn't I? Nobody's even going to be down here, but it doesn't matter. It needs to be done um, because this marshmallow mint smells like nothingness. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's been a, it's been a great day. It's Thursday. So tomorrow is Friday. Thank goodness. Um, I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. I can't wait to see you guys soon. I miss everybody so much. Um, 
I would love to hear in the comments what you guys have been warming, what you've been getting through, what your favorite scents are, what your favorite new releases are. Have you smelled any of the new releases for spring and summer? Are you warming any of the new releases for spring and summer? Let me know. Whee! Sorry, I'm in a spinny chair. Nobody should leave Angie alone with a spinny chair. Um, hope you're having a great day. See ya.